hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to host your node.js application on your AWS EC2 instances okay so for that I'm using this sample code that uh, one of our um, github open source contributor has contributed uh, his name is John's so all credits to him so I have made some of the modifications but um, the master code is from his repository so I'm using that uh, code that the person is uh, that the person has created so I have I have made some modifications that uh, uh, however I want it so I've made it um, as per my requirement all right so this is a great application for uh, testing simple deployments on your cloud environments okay so I've you know also added readme notes so where you can go and check what are the steps that are needed to execute this one all right so without wasting much time let's build this one okay so for building this one what I've done is I've already created an EC2 instance with the name node.js application okay it is an Ubuntu uh, machine if you see here the platform is Ubuntu and it is a simple three steps or four steps process to create a virtual machine or an EC2 instance so if you do not know how to create it I've already created a separate video on how to create an EC2 instance go there and check that out I'll make sure to add the link to that in the description box below all right so this is my server EC2 instance uh, uh, which has got Ubuntu um, Linux flavor on it all right so let us try and connect to this EC2 instance to do that let me click on connect so if you see I have uh, I'm using uh, EC2 instance connect you can use other methods as well as it is a simple step I'm going to use EC2 instance connect let me hit on connect so it will take some time to load the connection or is to establish the connection if you see it is establishing the connection yet all right so if you see now the connection is established so let me clear the screen and become a super user by typing sudo su hyphen all right so let me make it bit more bigger for you okay so now I'm a root user so let's go back to our uh, you know uh, application here so this is my application code if you go and see my index.js here is actually I'm, I'm creating a HTTP uh, server and the, it is listening on port 80 so I want it to be listen listening on port 80 so that is the reason why I'm using listen port 80 so if you see this prints a monk in cloud when I you know get my public IP address and paste it on a browser so it will give a monk in cloud okay so this is what the application is all about so we have uh, package dot, package dot JSON and all so this as a DevOps engineer or a cloud engineer you need not code all of them so you will get a code from the developer and your job as a DevOps or a cloud engineer is to deploy that cloak uh, you know job or deploy that application to an EC2 instance or to your environment that is already there right so that is what we are trying to do now okay so if you want to know or learn how to create a node.js application better to go ahead and uh, watch a video on free code camp it is a beautiful tutorial so you can go and check that out okay so now coming back to our our thing here so the step one is to install node.js and npm using nvm so for you know installing node.js we need uh, you know npm so there are multiple ways where how you can install node.js so this is my preferred way so I'll go ahead and and use this one use this command to you know install node.js on any server all right so if you see first I'm becoming a super user so I've already a, su a super user if you see the second one is to run this curl so basically it is just a you know I, I got this link from the node.js uh, uh, app web application uh, so node.js uh, uh, you know official page to download the uh, node.js application so I got this link from them so I'm gonna paste that in my you know EC2 server if you see I'm just pasting that you know it is installing all of the dependencies okay so let me clear the screen for you once again back so the next one the next step is to activate the NVM by typing the following command so we just downloaded it so now we need to activate it so let me copy this and again paste it back in our EC2 instance okay so this will 
you know start our nvm server okay next is to use nvm to install the latest version of node.js so this is where we install our node.js so let me copy that and paste it here so this will basically install our node.js application so if you see it is still installing so checksums passed all right so if you see it has created our uh, if it has installed node.js application so if you just want to check what is the version you can just type in node hyphen v npm hyphen v you will get the you know uh, versions of those uh, things okay so let me just type in uh, both the commands all together okay so if you see we have uh, you know we got the response so it is version 18.10.0 8.19.2 all right so this is a version so next let us install git if it is not present okay so first let us update the system by running this command and get the ins git installed on our ec2 server okay so first let me copy this one let us update the server if it is not updated okay so let me run that so okay oh i made a mistake there sudo okay so it should be apt sorry apt get update hyphen y okay so this will update our system i'll make sure to correct this here as well so i think the other sh other thing is will also not work so let me you know just copy the other part and type in apt get okay so net, let me install git also apt get abd hyphen get i'll make sure to correct that in the document don't worry so install git hyphen y if it is if git is not there it will install it okay so it is installed right now actually okay now let us check the git version by typing git hyphen hyphen version or git hyphen v okay so now if you see i think uh, here is again typo git hyphen v i'll make sure to correct all of them in the you know a document okay so let me type in git hyphen hyphen version okay if you see this is the version of git that we already have okay so let me clear the screen back again next is to clone the repository so the code that i'm using is in this particular record uh, repository if you want to clone it you just need to copy this link so you, if you want to clone it you just can copy this one i've already done that also if you see git clone is already there so let me just copy this one and uh, paste it here so this will basically clone that repository whatever the content that repository has it has been cloned into my ec2 server okay so let me quickly write uh, type in ls hyphen lrt which lists out all the things that are there now so now if you see node.js on ec2 is in in my server okay so let me get into node.js just by typing cd node.js on ec2 okay so now if you see i'm in my node.js ec2 okay so let us type in ls hyphen lrt again if you see all the contents that we have in here everything is inside my server okay so that is how you clone and you you uh, you know get inside the directory next is to install the npm uh, i mean the packages or the dependencies that the application has got you just need to type in npm install okay so if you see i've already i'm already in my node.js on ec2 so just need to install this one okay so let me come here let me paste it so this will install all the things that are or the packages or everything that will download it and keep it inside this one okay so the next thing the last step is to start this one so to start it you just need to type in npm start okay so this will start your application if you see node hello it is started okay so node index.js is started so if you want to see on which board i'm i'm running this i'm actually if you go back to my code if you remember in the begin very beginning i told that it is running on port 80 so if it is running on port 80 i need not change anything uh, i need not you know apply any ports uh, port conversion or anything so port mapping or anything if it is a docker so i just have to copy this uh, you know public ip and paste it in the browser and this will in turn if you see it is producing a 
the content that I have, uh, have in my application code, right? So this is how you host your application, a Node.js application on your EC2 instance. So if you want to try out other things like um, having Route 53, uh, uh, you know, mapping your IPv4 address to your A record and C name, you can do that also. Okay. Now, if you see, I have purchased one of my domain using Freenom uh, website. If you see, the domain name is uh, amonkincloud.ml. So this is my domain that I have purchased using a vendor Freenom. Freenom. Okay. So to you know um, route this one using Route 53, you first need to create a hosted zone. So let me quickly create a hosted zone here with a domain name. So the domain name is amonkincloud.ml. So you just need to copy the same thing and paste it here as well. So you can paste the same thing in the description also. It is left to you. So whether it is public hosted zone or private hosted zone. So as our application is public, available to the internet, so it is public. So if you want to route traffic only within the VPC, Amazon VPC, so you can select private okay so i'm selecting public and create the hosted zone okay so this will create name server records and soa records so if you see these are my name server records so now what i need to do is i need to add this name server entries in my uh, you know client okay so i am using free norm so if you see here management tools under that i have name servers if you click on that by default, it will have some uh, dif uh, different uh, name servers. Okay, so I have uh, you know changed it. So I am using custom name servers, and I have entered all these things that you see here. So all the four name servers .net, .org, .co, .uk, .com, all those things I have added. Okay, so if you want to remove that and add it once again, you can do that as well. So it keeps on changing. So let us add one by one. So let me quickly copy that and paste it here in the name server one. Okay, make sure there is no extra spaces or the periods at the end. Okay, so just you know, you need to just copy the content that is present in the name server. Okay, don't try to copy extra things okay uh, extra things as in a, a period at the end if you see here do not copy those things okay so it will uh, it will not work correctly okay so let me quickly copy and paste all the four name server records okay so the last one i'm i'm change the name server so this we have changed the name server now okay so let me go back to my um, you know route 53 so now let us create a a record so we need to map our uh, you know ec2 instances public ip to a a record so a records basically routes the traffic to an ipv4 address and some aws resources in our case it is ec2 instances private uh, sorry public ip address okay so let me grab my public ip so this is my public ip so let me go back to my route 53 paste that here okay so if you see a monkey cloud.ml it is already there you need not add any subdomain okay so this is fine uh, keep rest of them as default and click on create record okay so this has created a record a record okay so we also need to create one more record with c name so let me hit on create new again so here if you see c name is needed this this basically routes traffic to another domain name or uh, or to some aws resources okay so let me select that and type in www okay three w's and i just have to give the same public ip address so let me give the same public ip here and click on create record okay so this was successfully created now let me grab this one let me grab a monk in cloud and paste it in the browser okay so this will take some time to you know uh, route the traffic but if you see if i just copy and paste my uh, you know uh, public ip address it is appearing okay so if you see we are getting the content a monk in cloud so now if you see i have you know added my domain name and that's that is also producing the content that is present in the application code okay so this is how you map your route 53 with your node.js application okay so that's it for today's video if you are liking the content that i'm creating 
please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you